So welcome back folks to a noob's journey in the long dark. And as you can see, we are now in the uh, Prepper's Hatch. And I got myself a good night's sleep. It's just barely in the morning time. So we're going to come out of here. The decision has been made. The die has been cast. We are going to Timberwolf Mountain. <clears throat> so off camera, uh, I spent a couple of days getting supplies up and down or up the rope and dropping them off and then resting when I had to uh, so that we have a good amount of supplies at the top. Uh, worked on my clothing a little bit and we are at 84 pounds. So take me a drink of water here. Lighten that up just a little bit. And we are going to Timberwolf Mountain. So this is an area I've never been to. I have seen one, maybe two playthroughs of this area. But me, myself, I've never been here. So this should be fun. And here's all the food that I've brought up just in case. And we have some pelts here and some extra clothing just in case. And we've got a few tools. So I'm going to leave most of this here, I believe. Let me see what I do have on me. No, this was the last trip up. So, oh, I did make some arrows. I did find my arrows. Um, so I made four new arrows. And unfortunately, I left my bow. So I'm either going to have to, yeah, there was some extra clothing I brought up to repair stuff. I can already hear the wolves. Uh, it sounded like they were to my right. So let me see what I have for clo for uh, food. I've got a little bit. Some of. Seventy-eight pounds. All of my cattails. Cattails. And my beef jerky. Take my MRE. And go ahead and take my vegetarian meal. Take that. It leaves me at 81 pounds. Then take that with me. My pry bar. Green flare. Go ahead and take that with me too. Okay, 84 pounds. So let's go do some exploring. Forgot to look at my stick situation. I have five of them. So... See, I want to pick up plenty of sticks. So what I can do is drop a couple of these. There we go. It'll leave me some uh, room for sticks, so I can build a fire if I need to. All right, let me pick it up.
So as I said, I have watched a couple of, at least one playthrough, I think. Well, I know I've watched one playthrough. I may have watched another playthrough when the map was first come out. Uh, but I don't remember a whole lot of it. I do know there are containers in certain areas. Like a cargo plane went down and crashed. So you can find a lot of stuff in those containers. Uh, but a lot of it will be stuff I don't need. The guy that I watched that came through here found one container that had like uh, 15 or 20 pinpoint where that's at oh okay so I'm here I'm safe once I come to here then I'm Timberwolf Mountain anyway the guy found uh, 15 20 25 something like that can openers uh, what are you going to do with that many can openers but then found uh, a whole bin filled with coffee and ended up with like 25 containers of coffee while I can and I didn't pick up charcoal there okay so I must be heading this way nope I'm heading that way okay we'll figure it out later next time I draw a map uh, I do know that somewhere up here to the left is a lake or a pond and there is a structure there so that is our goal to find that and that will be our base and then we'll just start going around from there I'm a little jerky today. I uh, spent the last two days uh, working in a really old house that's getting ready to be torn down. And they had uh, tongue and groove. Tongue and groove. Planks in uh, all of the ceilings and a lot of the walls. And it was milled by a company that has not been in business since the 1960s. Uh, but the all of the planks were put in the house in the 40s. So it was all in really good shape. Uh, I was able to save most of it. They were not shy with using nails, so there were a lot of pieces I couldn't save. But I got enough out of it so that my den, and I call it a den, my wife calls it an office. I'm going to do the entire office in it. So let's map. Okay. Uh, as I think I've mentioned before, I live in a house that was built in 1880 and hasn't been updated since the 1980s. I'm remodeling it pretty much one room at a time, payday to payday. And 
this actually, all this free wood actually helps out a lot. If I can go up in there. That is not my goal right now. My goal is to find uh, the little shack. And not find any timber wolves. Okay, I have no stinks on me. second there I was looking at that and thought man is there a moose up here that's a broken tree and it just scared me a dog outside my House started barking. I thought it was a timber wolf. Good sign. It might be a cabin or rocks right there. I don't know. It might be rocks. Great. Oh, we got a fishing shack and a dock. So there might be a moose and timber wolves up here. My eyes off the horizon. I also don't want to pass up cattails. Is that a wolf? It is. Okay, but I want to get over here to this crystal lake. There's the cabin. Let me stay over there. I am not set up yet. actually see out of this. I can see out of the windows too. And of course no windows over here. I'm going to just gather up everything. Door stuff. Good. And a hunting knife. So in this kitchen. I don't need that. Hope nobody a lantern. Needs this anymore. It's almost empty. More fishing line. So let's go ahead and read this. Uh, some nice cracks. Is going to set up a top rope to do some bouldering. Till the others show up, hopefully soon. Wondering if my friends got lost as they still haven't arrived. 
woke up in the night to a deafening noise and fire on the mountain. Went to check it out, but the weather got nasty and I couldn't find my way. Next day, clear day, went out again, found some metal cargo crates. That's what I'm looking for. They look like they might have come from a plane. There's still some smoke coming from the summit. I'm heading out to see if I can make it to the peak and learn more about what's going on. So I'm assuming he didn't make it. Oh, climbing rope and arrows, yes. Me without my bow. Maybe I can find a bow up here. Take it. Okay, mercy stem come in handy. Cleaning kit. I missed that. So is this considered indoors? Should be. Yeah, okay. Just for uh, cabin fever. Stuff in here. That holds 88 pounds. Alright. I don't want to drop sticks in there. Uh, mercy stem. Down vest. Picked up something else to oh. So we drop some of this stuff. Don't want to drop that in there because it might disappear. Uh, drop the coffee. Over here, look up on the shelf. Uh, almost. Yeah, put it up there so I see it. Uh, that way, next time I make, so I'm assuming I can cook in here. Yep, fireplace. So I should be able to cook in there. Come on. Uh, let's drop both of those. Drop that. I don't think the flares work on uh, timber wolves. So that's six arrows. I bring. Oh, I left the fuel down there at the entrance. Okay, put sticks over here. And we'll drop that many. Leave me with four. Makes my weight 82 pounds, so it's still heavy. Let's see what else I can get rid of. There's a fishing shack, so I want to go to the fishing shack and get me some fish. I have a lot of ammunition. But here, I really don't want to get rid of any ammunition. What I could do is do some fishing and then drop off the fishing line. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. 
Ooh, and I can look out here. How close? Oh, it's fairly close to that wolf. He's over there. I should be able to get around him. way because I do have something that's ruined I'll go ahead and eat that I should have ate this before I drank but oh well crackers. So now I'm down to 79 pounds. I could take that wolf out. Ooh, I don't know if they can come in here or not. So let's shut this. Which is going to make it harder for me to run inside now. Um, yeah. Let's try to take him out. I don't want him running around. too far to shoot him. I think we're going to have to go down to him. I don't believe he will be nice and just walk over to the bottom of the dock here and let me shoot him. I think that's a regular wolf. These timber wolves are in a pack of four or five. I'm not sure. But he is all by himself. Where'd he go? Stinky bars. Rabbit. I knew I missed that as soon as I pulled the trigger. I jerked a little bit to the left. Right, I think he's going to give me another shot at him.
Anything else here? So we're gonna have to get him quickly. The storm coming in. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Don't see anything. Standing carrying meat around this area is not a good thing. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, that's going to be an issue there. If I'm being chased. Let's just drop. Guts. Getting on to evening with a storm outside. So I think we're done for the day. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. I was thinking about going to the fishing shack. Uh, but I think I want to wait on that. Because with this storm coming in, it could get. How warm is it in here? Okay, feels like 75. So this is, if you don't have clothing on. You may not be able to stay in here unless you're in the bed. Stick. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot more than that. So, 100%. Come on, little fire. So that gives me 353. There. Slot. <sighs> Three hours. Do up some, fix me up some water. Oh crap. Gotta go this way. Hour and thirty eight minutes. Kind of heavy. 
hour and five minutes. Seven minutes. Yeah, I'll add a couple more sticks. And yeah, maybe won't have to. Go ahead and drop some of this. should fill me up. Fire's out. I'll keep that on me and eat it in the morning. Standing on the bed. Uh, drink my fill here. Get some sleep. I'll take ten hours. And then we'll go down and hit the fishing shack. See what's in there now, don't, now that I don't have to worry about the wolf. And again, he may have been keeping away the timber wolves. Didn't think of that. All right. So the weather looks pretty good. I need the rest of this. Uh, what temperature is? Feels like 59, okay. So at least it stays warm enough in here. I don't have to keep a fire going. I'm not too thrilled about this flimsy ass little door, but Listening very intently. Don't know where the timber wolves hang out. A path going up there. temperature in here. Well, it feels like 36, but we're not freezing, so... Uh, let's use the... Robot. I made it through another night. Okay, 
so temperature 37 so it's warming up so let's get down here where I can look fish for one hour so I watch my temperature Pretty good size one. Ooh, ten pounds. Definitely gonna keep him. I don't know if the timber wolves will attack. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I do not know what that sound is. But I don't think I like it. Could have been just a deer? I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah. I'm oh not fuck. Be able to this load for much longer. <clears throat> you won't have to. There is something out there walking around. It's not the deer. Okay, so let's drop the fish. Yeah, I have no stink on me. I'm crouch, yep, crouch down. a deer. Maybe it's just a weird sound. Okay. I'm just paranoid. Alright, so let's get our fish back to the cabin. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Thanking me for that. How heavy am I? 115 pounds. I got a lot of fish. Oh man, I'm nervous now. I'm way too heavy. Can't even run for the cabin.
whetstone. I missed that. And I have to get used to that. Alright. So now down to 79 pounds. And I need firewood. So let's see about dropping some more stuff. This would be like the stuff I carry with me when I go somewhere. Well, except for the fishing hooks. I think you need a hacksaw. Uh, to get into some of the containers. Yeah, I couldn't drop all those. Because I do not have... Four arrow shafts. So I have four extra arrow shafts. And I didn't bring any feathers with me. But I have that one arrow I can break down. I just put over all oh, can. Grab it, can back. I just put arrows in here. Well, there it is. So at thirty-two percent, I can break that down. Harvest it. Yes, it gives me arrowhead and three feathers. And I have an arrow shaft. So I should be able to make another arrow. Okay, and I'll stick it in here, so in case I do find a bow, or a sapling, a maple sapling. Yeah, that gives me 500% arrows. That's my weight. 71 pounds. Still heavy. Yeah, because I need to go get some firewood. 66 pounds. Just a little piece. That's a better piece. Alright, so I need to gather some what time of day. It's getting on tonight. I need to go out here and gather some firewood. Hopefully avoid the timber wolves. Oh. I heard something in my on my right side. It sounded like something walking. And it's actually my washer in the laundry room. So 
I am way too paranoid right now. Alright, so that gives me some wood. I can cook up some fish. And we can eat fish for a change. need to make up some more water because a lot of this stuff if I can get it done now and that leaves me more time to explore I won't have to constantly get food and water four hours yeah, and I did bring a cooking pot I could have got oil. I'll do these in a cooking pot. Getting on to last night. So I can actually work one into the night a little bit. Two gallons. And let's eat some freshly cooked cooked fish. <clears throat> I'm not sure I can carry much more. No, you're not gonna have to. But the more water I can cook now, the less I'll have to cook later. Three gallons. I'm gonna see that twice. All right, that gives us plenty of plenty of water for a while. Oh, I, got, I do have wood on me. Plugs, I don't need those, so get them out of the way. Seven sticks, sixty nine pounds. 
All right. So I think I'm good now. I have water and food here, plus what I brought with me. And I think I am ready. Wait a minute, one more time. Nope. Let's drop that. pry bar because I'm not sure what I will need if I do find a container and let's see food wise what do I have on me I have cattails so I'm going to take those with me leaves me at 70 pounds so I should be able to carry another 18 pounds once I'm rested up. And tomorrow I'm going to get out of here and start exploring the area. And see if we can't find some timber wolves. See what that's all about. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. That's a good place to stop and we're almost at the hour mark. So as always, I would appreciate any suggestions you have on how I can improve. Uh, you can leave a comment down below. And if you like the video, hit like. And I will see you in the next episode. So, excuse me, until then, have a good one.